Simple Library Review.com. Today we're going to be checking out Alt Choir by Westwood Instruments. Westwood Instruments is promising a choir sample library of raw human essence from vocal performances. The developer says this is not your typical choir library, but immersive experience that captures the authentic vocal performances that you can't get anywhere else. Alt Choir is sampled from 16 vocalists with dozens of unique articulations. You've got six NKIs, four individual sections for soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. We've got ensemble patch and a texture synth patch. The library has four microphone signals. There's reverb and effects. And normally sells for $279. At the time I'm putting the video out here, it's on special promotion, $195. First notes here. I'm loving the sound of this library right out of the gate. It's delicate, it's emotive, it's a real beautiful mix between a contemporary choir and a choir that's a little bit more formal. I created a quick mock up here to get a feel for the instrument using several tracks and different articulations, and I could hear there's a special quality just by playing back my quick rough sketch here. And by the way, the piano I used is the free Westwood Instruments Roots Dust Piano, which runs in the free contact player. It is NKS compatible. If you don't have that one, uh, I'll include a link to that. You can jump over and grab that one right now. Yeah, that improv patch is really nice.
pause here. Velocity sensitive. For dynamics. Short O's. Waves. This is the first one, it's a shorts. You got expression, but the dynamics are velocity sensitive. Wave shorts with the humming. shorts with the O. A lot of life in it. These waves are real nice. Longer ones will be really nice to use. Real expressive. That's my overall thoughts on that instrument. Here we've got the texture synths. They've got a bunch of hybrid sound design synths here created from the voices. That'd be great for drones, atmospheres. Got a glide controls here. Get something a little more theremin like. Very 
contemporary. Mmm, the siren's really tasteful. Monophonic, too. Yeah, this one's great. Sopranos articulations here. select your keys here, major and minor. And your green keys uh, indicate where the original samples are, I believe. And yeah, these are really beautiful. These episodes. It's really nice because they're uh, set to a key. You can play two notes and they harmonize with the phrases. Let's see if we can get our uh, expression and vowel to MIDI CC here. So we got improv legato and a regular legato. Legato speed controls for both. Really tasteful. Let's get that expression. For some reason, my expression isn't locking into my fader. Start and release samples are real nice on this. Very natural sounding. Those chatters.
This is cool. Moving fifths. And moving thirds. Real expressive in seconds. Nice sound. This is the altos. These improv patches are really nice. Just the movement in the singer's uh, vocalization, vowels, and dynamics brings a lot of life to just a couple notes. It's nice you can get the vowels to the A from the O. Buttery, smooth legato there. And these chatters. Specialty articulation. Shorts here. These breathy sustains are really nice. We didn't have those in the uh, Sopranos. And we got percussion here too. Second panel. Did I miss the second panel in the Sopranos? We've got our short waves and long waves. Oh, those hums are gorgeous. Soft humming. For some reason, my ex there we go. Oh no, my expression fader is not working for some reason. Mm -hmm. 
Let's move on to tenors. having the vowel controls. Expression fader is not working here. Jorts as and our fifths here. beautifully. And we do have a second page here of articulations as well. Short waves. This humming sounds fantastic. Breathy sustains. Yeah, I really like these. And our bass instrument. Resync my expression dynamics to my faders here. Let's 
stains are really nice. articulations in the basses here for good reason. second page of waves wow this is Really nicely done, very tasteful, loving uh, the way the developers approached most of this. I'm a fan of most of Westwood Instruments. Their Novella Origin, the Rotor that I reviewed recently, those are a couple of my favorites from the developer. And they've got a real knack for creating the kinds of sonically sophisticated tools that composers looking for something more of a higher bar for cinematic type scores. Um, I think. You're going to get a lot of usage out of this one. I think all choirs reached a new height with its gorgeous movements in the ensemble, the hybrid synths engineered from the choirs, and the ultimate flexibility uh, for the purists with the SATB instruments. You've got those multiple microphone positions, which um, I don't think I demoed, did I? Uh, you know what? I'll include a link uh, to the... Uh, a sample library review alt choir uh, review page. I'll, I'll post some other reviews because uh, this is just a first look. I didn't dive into every detail of the instrument here. I just wanted to hear how it sounded myself and share it with you. Get it out right away because I knew people were excited about this one. I think alt choir is, is just a much a joy to play as it will be useful for re creating these delicate moments um, for scores or songs. And I've shared a lot of my thoughts along the way, but I'd love to hear yours. Please comment below. Let me know what you think about Alt Choir. Did you already grab it? Are you just watching the video so you don't have to do a first look yourself and you can kind of get a feel for the library? Please do comment below. I do read all the comments on the channel there, even if I don't reply to each and every one of them. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel and head back around on Fridays for our weekly deal compressor show.